Hey, thank you, everyone. Um, my name is Reclesis, and we're running some Saga Frontier today. Uh, and behind me, I have... Angie Yuna. I was told not to panic, but I'm probably going to panic. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Bid Boss. All right, and we got a bid war going on. Uh, so, who won, Amelia or Celis? With a good pull ahead at the end, we do have our leader has won a Celis' story. A Celis' story. All right. <laughs> All right, so we'll get this. Let's get right into it. In three, two, one, go. Woo! All right, so every story starts off with it asking for system data. We won't be using it at all for the run. Uh, that's just used to carry over some like stats and abilities to the next save. And for speed runs, uh, we only use it for like second division, which is every character back to back. But uh, Celis' story takes place uh, starting in the region of Fasinaturu. And it's actually told through the eyes of Gina, who is a uh, assistant to the dressmaker here. So. Mm -hmm. And Celis' story starts off with about nine to nine and a half minutes of uh, trigger hunting. <laughs> so we're going to be using this time to talk about the mechanics of the game. Um, this is unlike most other RPGs. We don't get random encounters. Instead, the enemies are on the map, and we can run around most, if not all, of them. Uh, there will be... Oh, no, uh, Amelia. Amelia has forced fights. <laughs> uh, for the most part, we're going to be running around every enemy with a Celis. Uh, yeah, otherwise, basically just doing a lot of saving, and if you do hit an enemy, it's just going to be a resetting. Hopefully that won't happen at all today. Hopefully it won't. <laughs> but like you said, this game has a uh, quick save feature where we'll be doing that a lot mm -hmm. throughout this run, because this run, I like to call it the boss rush run. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll be getting into quite a few boss fights that need RNG to go our way. If not, we have to reset and try again. Uh huh. Yeah, I think this is the most story-focused run in the game, at least uh, either maybe this or Red. Yeah. Um, and there's just a lot of characters, so there's a lot of bosses, a lot more than some of the other stories. Um, which is why we're getting, of course, nine minutes of basically just lore and story dumped at the, at the start of the run. <laughs> and so here, Celis wakes up after being, uh, she was hit by a carriage, a horse-drawn carriage. And uh, she's just waking up to realize, like, hey, she's not in a hospital. She's not even home. She's not sure what's going on. So we're going to leave the room and find out, hey, there's coffins all over the place. <laughs> a little, little creepy. And we're going to go investigate. Start and poking around the manor. Yeah. <laughs> go right to here and find a little teleporter. So she freaks out at first and tries to run away from it. But <laughs> after that one little instant, she just uses it no problem. One cool thing about the center, though, is all these flowers. Mm hmm. Be a shame if something happened to him. I know, you were talking about poking before. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, oh, it looks like the run's over. Thank you for having me, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Die Hard NES. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> uh. But if you notice, the, uh, the, white, the white roses there actually turned into purple roses because she's bleeding purple blood rather than, you know, normal human red blood. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, this game does have uh, a few different races. There's uh, humans and there's mystics. There's also monsters and robots, but we won't be uh, interacting with monsters or robots for this run. And uh, mystics have blue blood, humans have red blood. So, so she's got the purple. <laughs> but yeah, we're basically, um, this is, I think, the most mystic focused story. Um, and we're going to be utilizing Mystics a lot during this run as well. They're really powerful, and would they basically have a bunch of different abilities that when they kill a monster enemy, they absorb one of their powers. Mm -hmm. It gives them stats, and it gives them abilities. So we'll be doing that a lot in this run. Um, she's utilizing it to beat all this, you know, basically our boss gauntlet. <laughs> yeah. And here we meet Orluge, the uh, essentially the ruler of Mystics. And it's because of him that we're still alive. Uh, his carriage is the one that hit us, and he actually gave us some of his blood uh, to keep us alive. But that turns uh, Celis into a half-mystic. She's the world's only half-mystic. What's 
really cool mechanically though is that she gets access to the mystic, uh, mystic abilities and she can also absorb, but she has the human abilities where she can learn like martial arts, she can learn magic, she can learn uh, gun abilities, she can learn all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is something we won't see in this run, but one of the coolest mechanics in uh, Saga Frontier is the spark system, where basically humans have the ability to learn moves just based on trying to use either um, you know swords or martial arts on enemies, and it just puts a little light bulb over their head and they spark into an ability. Yeah, we would have seen that a little bit in the Amelia run, but uh, here it's all about the mystics. We will be using one human, but uh, he won't be sparking anything. Mm -hmm. And so here we're actually going to the dress shop because they actually ordered a sell us a dress after they ran her over with a horse yeah. carriage. <laughs> That's nice of them. That's very sweet. <laughs> uh. and that's where uh, Gina meets a sell us, and this is how she's telling the story through, uh, mm -hmm. like, again, the story is told through her eyes. Though in, uh, in the speed run, this is going to be the only time we interact with her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Maybe she's just spying on us, and that's why we're going to see the rest of the run. Mm -hmm. All right, now we need to go back inside the castle to uh, to meet up with another character, White Rose. Mm -hmm. uh, at this point in the game, they, they want you to get White Rose, get Ildon, and explore. Uh, get, get a little bit more of the lore in, and uh, there's a, a combat practice area where you learn, or you can learn your mystic abilities. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're just going to get White Rose, and then we're going to not do any of that. Yeah, we're gonna go drop the kids off and then uh, go ditch training too. Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, uh, this run does have quite a bit of flashing lights. Mm -hmm. um, at the after every boss dies, it, it'll, the screen will flash over and over again. So now that we got White Rose, we're going to go ahead and... We just got her in our party. We're going to have her get taken out of the party. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep, dropping the kids off. <laughs> and just go back to where Sela started, and they'll leave the party. Now, we need to do that in order to get the next story trigger. Mm -hmm. I think right now is actually a, a good spot for a donation. Mm -hmm. Ask and you shall receive... I've got $50 for you from Bandit Bill, who Ooh. says, let's go, Reclesis. You've got this, buddy. Thank you, Bandit Bill. He's a real-life friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, there we just triggered uh, Seattle, or, mm -hmm. and he tipped us off that, hey, there's a, oh, whoops. There's a pilot in the bar here who can actually get us out of Facinatero, but we're not too sure why Seattle's helping us out here. Uh-huh. <laughs> A little worried about that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess a pretty good time to mention just kind of the general structure of this game, though. So um, most of the characters just have, like, an open ability to go basically anywhere in the world throughout the game. Mm -hmm. um, and you can travel between different cities. And so we're kind of approaching being able to do that after this, like, huge story-focused area. Um, and some of the scenarios, like loot, you basically just do the entire scenario. There's not much story at all, and you're just running around doing the side quests, and you know, there's, like, a you know, quests to obtain different schools of magic and things like that. Um, and you're just kind of buffing yourself up for the final boss. But this one's, like I said, you know, we're kind of stuck here for a long time at the start. Yeah, like most most of the stories have a little bit where they kind of have you on rails and then a game opens up. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, the pilot wants payment for, to get us out of here. Um, White Rose doesn't have money, but she does have gold ingots. So we're going to use that instead. <laughs> oh, this door. <laughs> it's so hard to get in that door. As you can see, the movement in this game is really fast, and it's going to be, it's just really hard to even optimize rooms without enemies in them, so. <laughs> There's so many things you can get stuck on, too, because of the, uh, how the game works. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we're going to take a pit stop over here to, uh, to a special shop. Mm -hmm, uh, this, yeah. is, this is Gozaris. Uh, he sells very powerful items, but he doesn't take normal credits. He takes your life points instead. Do you want to explain <laughs> how uh, life points work? Sure. So basically, Saga Frontier, um, you have an HP bar and a life point bar. So you have an HP bar. When it hits zero, you pass out, and you can be revived with you know cures and things like that. Oops. You have an LP bar. 
that when that runs out, your character is dead. <laughs> yeah, and we, They're not coming back. And we use um, our maximum LP in order to get these items. We picked up a sword and an amulet. Also, here's our first encounter. Uh, First section with actual enemies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see how tough it is to dodge the enemies in this game just because of how fast they move, how fast we move. All a lot right. of the, these areas will be kind of like going towards an enemy. Once you're close enough, they'll start following you, and then you kind of bait them out and move around them. So there's just a lot of really, really intricate movement going on with a lot of these screens. All right, so we're meeting up with the pilot there. Celis uh, got a little scared and jumped off the, uh, the cliff there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And also, the game will um, intermittently show art like this, and mm -hmm. I think this is another great uh, spot for a donation. Surely, surely. I have a donation for you and also a question from Cor Corduroy? Corduroy, who donates $50 and says, can you sign my sick note to call out of work today? I want to watch GDQ instead. <laughs> <laughs> sure can. Gladly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here... Um, Seattle is reporting that Ocellus White Rose had escaped and that Ildon let them escape. And when he said, hey, what should we do about Ildon? Orlers said, yeah, just leave him alone. And uh, Seattle questions him. And then that just shows off like how powerful Orlers is because by th mentally throwing him all around the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so now the game forces us into the port city of Aomi. And while we're here, we're gonna, we notice these uh, petals in the, in the water. They're actually reading out a message that mystics can read. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems like a water mystic was actually, uh, it's actually missing. So we're going to go ahead and help find them. And it turns out he's like, she's actually in this manner here. Uh-huh. And she hasn't been talking to anybody. She refuses to. So hopefully we can go get a word in with her. Oh, so this is... This game has a lot of text mashing. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> like some categories are a little bit he um, heavier on the mashing than others. Like we brought up loot earlier. I don't think you have to mash much at all in loot other no. than right before the final boss. Yeah, <laughs> right before the 20 minute long final boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh. Yeah, so we're, uh, she got caught in a net and she's, and she's here now, but she wants to go back home. So we're gonna bring her back to the water. And I'm sure there's nothing, there's going to be nothing in our way trying to get down there. No, oh, totally nothing in the way. <laughs> uh, I remember this area as a kid and trying to get past this guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we're coming, yeah, we're coming up on our first mini boss, the Devil Squid. We're going to be seeing the Devil Squid quite a bit. Mm -hmm. right, I'm going to quick save here because this can go pear shaped a little bit. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah, it's already going. Oh, yeah. That's okay, uh, though, because qu quick save and go right back in and try it again. Yeah, this game's really fast to, like, uh, basically save and load, so it's not too much of a problem. Just lose a little bit of time. Um, it's definitely worth it to get that. Yeah, thing. stuck on the stairs uh, again. Right, we're going to fight uh, him. Oh, no. So, something to note about kind of how encounters work in this game. Uh, as you see, we're fighting just a tiny little frog. Um, there's something called a battle rank in this game, which determines how strong the enemies you're, you're fighting are. So at the start of the game, we have battle rank one, which is why we're fighting such weak enemies. But, you know, as you... I was still oh stuck on the... Oh, no! <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh -oh. That is really unfortunate. Yeah. It's yes. frustrating. Um, but yeah, so as we fight more and more battles, which we don't do in the speedrun, your battle rank eventually goes up and you can start fighting harder enemies. I think basically every speedrun, um, you know, ends at battle rank one, which also affects boss health and stuff like that. So it's good for us to keep it low. All right, so we're gonna try to do this do this a quick way. If not, we'll do a, a backup safe, safety strategy. But I've put on the Asura that we got, and we're gonna have Masarthum one v one this giant squid. Yeah, as you see, this sword is really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so that attack right there, if you're not using a character that's immune to water attacks, will basically wipe your entire party. Yeah. So the pendant she has on. All right, that's not good. Water. Mm -hmm. Oof. It can do more water attacks, or it can do a Thunderbolt. She'll survive Thunderbolt, but she won't survive Mighty Cyclone. Yeah. Let's do the backup. Yeah, so we're basically leaving her in this party so that we have a few more targets for things to hit as a, you know, so it's not just aiming for our, our mermaid. 
Yeah, we're gonna give him extra targets. Oh. The menuing in this game is a little finicky. Like, I tried to uh, hold down triangle to move them into the back row and then hit down, but it, mm. it just didn't take my down input. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So something just to note, when you see the, the white number come up... Oh man, it's is... just look, he's looking at Masarthum. Oh no. That, mean, that means he's targeting her. Oh no. Not again, please. I ink, ink's okay. fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And off to a little bit of a rough start. Uh -huh. but that's the Saga Frontier for you. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Also, um, after every fight, you like humans will gain extra stats. Mystics will gain like HP, WP, JP. Uh, we want them to learn as little as possible, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> just so we can get through everything faster. Uh huh. All right, right here's another good spot for a donation or two. Perfect, perfect. I've got fifteen dollars for you from Kona Recon, who says, after hearing a friend gush about this game, I finally get to see what Saga Frontier is actually like. Here's to a good run and one million by the end of the day. I think we're on great pace for that right now, considering we are just over $3,000 away from that 900K. So, so close. I think we can get there by the end of the run. Oh, definitely. I absolutely think we can. Let's go, <laughs> man. What do you all think? <laughs> I put my faith in Twitch chat. <laughs> all right, so now... Um, Orluge wants White Rose back, so he ordered Seattle to send out some minions to go get her. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go back to our house, uh, our aunt's house, sorry, in Shrike. And I put the, uh, the Asura onto Acellus mm -hmm. for the next boss fight. We're going to quick save because this can go pear shaped really easily. Yes, it can. <laughs> and it turns out that everyone thinks you're dead because you've been missing for 12 years <laughs> and you haven't aged. That's a, a side effect of having Mystic Blood is you don't age. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, one of the, uh, the sages that they sent out is here. This is the Fire Sage. We're hoping for a turn one kill. Uh huh. Because the Asura not only is uh, just a powerful weapon on its own, but if you get hit, uh, that didn't work here. But if you get hit before you attack with the Asura, then you will counterattack with Asura Revenge, and that's a very powerful attack. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of speedrunning strats just based on mm -hmm. Asura's Revenge in most well, of the scenarios. Unfortunately, Acellus just doesn't have enough WP, so we actually need that to go off by turn two. Mm -hmm. Getting that good old Saga RNG right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those games, like, it's easy to pick up because you can uh, quick save to, to try things over and over again and get runs finished, but if you're going for top times, oof. oof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, to, to give you an example, I have record in this category, and I have encounters and resets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's just so many bosses that require just, you know, really good art. Stop targeting White Rose. Uh, not to mention that one of the hardest final bosses in any of these. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna move the Asura over to White Rose. She has enough WP to get it through. While we sneak back there, can I interest you in a quick donation? Sure can. Here's $50 for you from Big Red, who says, Hey, Reclesis, <laughs> it's awesome to see you on the GDQ stage. Good luck with the run. Thank you, Red. All right, third time's the charm. We got this. Mm -hmm. And right, we'll move it over to White Rose. It's going to... Nope. This is something I'm definitely not used to, but she can actually get enough attacks in to kill him without proccing her revenge. Mm -hmm. Now you attack. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Just can't> <laughs> Yay, RPG speed running. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, we, we get to see a sort of revenge now, All though. Right. Uh, I love the animation for that attack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. 
you see it does like 2.5 times the damage the Sura does. Yeah. It's really good. I got to put that back on Acellus now, though, because she needs it for Omble. Uh-huh. All right, now from here, the game does open up for Acellus, where she can pretty much go anywhere she wants to. Mm -hmm. And it, the game will now follow uh, a set pattern where we're going to get into an encounter, and then if we're in certain hotspots, we will encounter a boss fight. This is actually really rough for casual players oh, because yeah. the game doesn't tell you that that's how it's going to work. You just walk around and all of a sudden a boss is right there and you die. Yeah. <laughs> but so now we're just going to take an opportunity to kind of buff our party up. We're going to collect an extra character. We're going to do one of the magic quests I was talking about um, to get a spell called Hide Behind, which is going to be really good for um, something we'll be doing later that we'll Oops. see in the next uh, boss fight. Yeah, so we're going to do the Shadow Magic quest, which brings us to the land of Omble, where everything is shadow. Now, you can still get encounters and stuff here, but rather than running into a model itself, you have to run into the base of the shadow that's shown. And uh, the object here is to get our own shadow back, because it's about to run away. <laughs> I love that sound effect, too. It just <laughs>, laughs at you and runs away. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk to this shadow right here, which is the Shadow of Silence. Mm -hmm. We're going to recruit him after we're done here. Yep, Silence is another mystic. It's going to be really helpful for, for beating the final boss. Oh, no. Uh, you lost White Rose? Yeah, White Rose has the Asura, but we, sh we should be able to get it with the Shadow Dagger. Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. okay. All right, that's a really hard dodge right there. Very nice. <laughs> I'm very happy I got that first try. All right, Celis's ghost is over here. This room has all the ghosts of the main protagonists. And I got an extra one there, but that's fine. <laughs> if we run into that extra one, then we are forced into a fight. But Celis's ghost is right here. And just something I've always really liked about this game, um, like you can recruit different characters as you move around the world. Uh, and you can actually recruit the protagonists of the other scenarios for any scenario. Yeah, like, Lou will join anybody. Uh, Blue won't join anybody, unfortunately. You get Blue for a, a little bit in Red Story? Yeah. Okay, this is actually really bad. Um. This is... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might actually have to load a save. It might be faster to load a safety save. Because mm. the Shadow has our stats. Yeah, so 100 and what, 50 HP? 90, 96. 96, okay. The Asura would one-shot it. Because I'm so used to not having it on White Rose. I know. Yeah, it's really, like, unlucky what happened with the, the last boss there. We might as well just keep going with this because it's going to be a few more swings. I can't believe this happened. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I've been so nervous before this run that, like, I'm just... Not only that, but the RNG is starting off terribly. Yeah, it really is. Maybe that means we'll have a really good Orlo. Mm -hmm. uh, Orlo's, I really hope Orlo's goes well, because that can ooh, that can make this go overestimate. To take your mind off the nerves, can I interest you in some support from the lovely viewers? Sure. I've got $25 from you from Al Kieser, who says Saga Frontier <laughs> is one of my favorite games from my childhood. It's quirky, fun, and easy to come back to time and again. <laughs> All right, so we just finished that. We recruited Silence, and we picked up Hide Behind. We're going to go in and out of this area a few times. Oh my god, the menuing. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> All right. So now this is one of the hot spots. So boss time. And what we're going to be using here is called uh, Hide Behind. And if you see, we have a level two combination. So it's one of my other favorite mechanics about this game is you get basically combinations between your different characters' attacks. So you can have a party of up to five characters in this Oof. game. Ooh, that's not good. Hey, we can still get anymore. through now. Yep, I think we're still getting through this. Yeah. Um, but basically... Every oh, you jerk. Oh, no. Oh. He won't die from a single attack, though. So. Okay, good. If he blocks again, then we can just retry, but we have a quick save right before. Uh-huh. All right, we're good. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> we got through. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, um, every so. attack in this game has a send command and a receive command. If a send goes into a different receive, a combo is created. Mm-hmm. 
And so we're going to be heavily utilizing that because basically as your combos work, you get some sort of in damage increase for every attack in the combo. And so we specifically got hide behind because it always goes first, and whatever it sends is received by a lot of the abilities we're going to be used in uh, this run. And for a little while, it's going to be going into the Asura attack. Uh, later on, we're going to be getting attacks on all of our mystics that it will, it will combo not only with hide behind, but combo with itself. Uh huh. And so those golden guts that. Uh, Wait, Rose said she had. We can actually sell them. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't actually give them to the pilot. We just took them. Yeah. <laughs> that guy got scammed. <laughs> and so here we're going to force an encounter with this bird. And, uh, all right, so go. There's. Am I still on? Yes, I am. Okay. Perfect. So this is just our encounter so that we can go back to a hot spot. So like we said, we need a single encounter, and then we need to move back and forth between a hot spot to trigger the next boss fight. So that's what we're doing here. Just got to remember to move White Rose back to the party. Mm -hmm. So again, and we're going to be looking for some combos in this fight. And this is the green stage. We might get some resets on here because he likes to just scream at us and make me cry. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm using the wrong ability with her. All right, that's perfect. He will do two attacks every turn. Uh, he will always do a spore attack and then some uh, something else. And spore typically hits two to three people. Mm -hmm. Hitting two. Kind of wish it didn't hit silence, but that's okay. Uh, perfect. That's Fantastic. And that's All that's right. fantastic too, because oh, yeah. that means We're next turn if, if we get a uh, combo with the Celis and Silence, Green Sage is down. Alright. Alright, yeah. right, we're through there. <laughs> That's one of the ones I was really worried about. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. You got all the bad RNG on the other fights. <laughs> <laughs> uh Try to get through this as fast as I can. Stop uh -huh. learning stuff. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> no, I don't want these stats. Give them back. <laughs> uh. All right, so now we took care of Seattle's stages. He actually wakes up a uh, very powerful princess and Princess Lion and sends her after us. Mm -hmm. Now this ne that the next boss fight against her is uh, has to go like perfect or else we don't get to advance. Yes. <laughs> so hopefully we won't see any resets, but we might see at least a few. It's quick to get back into that fight, though. So. Yes, very quick. Just force another fight here to move the story along. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a little bit better RNG to get one uh, monster rather than two, just because you can use Mystic Blade instead. Yeah. But it's not too much slower to use Flash Fire, so that's not a problem at all. And we're going to make our way over to, uh, to Kyo now. So... We got a shopping trip to do and a boss fight to have. Mm -hmm. So I think it's the first time we're kind of going to see the like menu of different places you can go here. You just see how many like different places there are. And there's two pages of this. Yeah, uh, Kurong has the second page. Every every other place doesn't. They'll, they'll just tell you to go Kurong. Yeah, <laughs> transfer <laughs> <at> Kurong. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're gonna pick up a whole bunch of amulets. Uh huh. So what we're getting here is uh, some Fang Amulets, which just increase the damage we do. We're getting some Wing Amulets, which make us go faster so we, we can uh, you know, go before the enemies. And we're grabbing some Flower Amulets so that Acellus doesn't miss with Hide Behind. So one of the, yeah, basically your combo, to make that work, you have to have one character go succession after another, and they can't spark anything, they can't miss. If any of that happens, you don't get the combination to happen. Right. So having that miss is a really big problem. Right, so this is Princess Lion. We have to kill her with the Sword of Revenge. There's no other way. So, nope, that was on the spot. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the exact move that went on in my, uh, my record, too, uh -huh. I believe. And I do believe we need um, a specific attack to kill Silence, or at least what's the one that does it? Needs, it needs to uh, be a physical attack, and she does a lot of them, but she can also do Wheel Slash. Wheel yeah. Slash does not proc a Sword of Revenge. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So we're looking for like Heaven Hell Smash, Hard Slash, something like that. Mm -hmm. There, we, there go. we go. Very nice. <laughs> Yeah, 7,000. <laughs> yeah. She's got 7K HP. Putting on the Fang Amulets gives us enough strength to just go over that. And she, uh, we don't actually kill her. She just goes back. She goes back to Orlu saying like, oh, okay. Uh-huh. Like, uh, I know why you're, you're defying him, so I'm just going to, you know, not leave him. leave you alone. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So from here, we're going to go back to Shrike. To do a little bit of grinding. Mm -hmm. This is we're to do some powering up and uh, mostly to do with our mystics, as we'll see in a second here. I went to Kurong. Uh oh, <laughs> transfer at Kurong. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one of those like, oh, game likes to eat inputs. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh well. Uh, well, while we're going to the right place, let's get a donation in. Sure thing, sure thing. Here is the fifty dollars from DFS, who says, "Gotta donate for more Pokemon Coliseum." <laughs> we are making good progress on that one, and also on hitting that nine hundred k. So, come on, everyone, get those donations in. Mm -hmm, Twenty five hundred more. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can I sneak in another one for you, sure. real quick? Here is two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> nice. Let's hear it for that. From one Jordan Gammy, who says Saga Frontier was one of the first games that truly captivated me. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm just, oh, I just feel a little bad that I'm messing up quite a bit, though. <laughs> you got this. This going great. Yeah. Right, so here we're, we're going to be doing uh, specific absorbs into specific attacks. Like we're going to absorb these skeletons into the boots and sword, and not going to punch. Yeah. Uh, this they can deflect the sword strike. They didn't do that there, so that's good. So we specifically came here because these are fixed fights. Um, like I said, our battle rank is low, so we can't get very good absorbs from random enemies. But we have basically these fixed fights, trying to get these this sword um, and shield here that have really powerful uh, absorbs. So that's specifically why we came here. And we're going to be doing that later with uh, our little squid friend again, too. Yeah. Uh, here, we don't actually get a boss fight. We get a party member. Uh, Ildon gets sent after us, and he's like, relax, I'm not here to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> He's just hanging out. Turns out uh, Seattle is like getting mad with power and he's just coming up to warn us. Nope. So we're doing winging amulets here so we outspeed these skeletons. Um, we're trying to get basically absorbs on two slots of two of our characters. So we already got the absorbs for Silence, and now we're doing them for Ildon. It's a little riskier to have just Ildon here. For safety, you could have another party member just so they could attack other people, because they can combo you. Haha, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't just combo, enemies can combo. Mm -hmm. If anything moves between ascend and receive, then that's what happens. Right, let's see if the RNG fairy lets us leave. <laughs> Thank Ooh, you, RNG fairy. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> yeah, like some some of the monsters will actually wander around before they aggro onto you, and that fairy in particular likes to get in the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go to Yorkland now to trigger the next hot spot. Can I squeeze in a quick celebratory dono for you? Sure. Here's $50 from Fair Brand X, who says, don't you just love the skeleton dance? <laughs> <laughs> I really just love a lot of the animations in this game, just the dancing characters when they finish battle. Yeah. <laughs> a lot yeah, of great really stuff cute. in this. Mm -hmm. right, this is uh, the first time we're fighting Seattle. Oh, the wrong way on that one, but that's fine. <laughs> ah. Yeah, no combo. So if we see hide behind and not something after. She missed, easily. that's why. Yeah. Oh, they didn't get the combo with uh, Assassinate either. Uh-oh. Right, Fascination is good to see, though. That doesn't, affect, that doesn't affect Mystics. So. so this is the move we got from our skeleton friends, Assassinate. Very strong. <laughs> Here we typically want to see like a level 3 combo and a level 2 combo, and then a level 3 to finish it out. 
So that means next turn he's definitely going to kill somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, here we go. Starting to combo. I kind of hope he attacks either a Celos or Silence. This way, Rose and White Rose can get that combo off. Uh huh. Dang it. Ah. Uh. That's fine. Just means you're going extra turn. Mm hmm. I'm like we're in good shape though. I think that killed him. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> oh, Rogue got him. There we go. Rogue's a really strong character you can just pick up because Implosion's just a really good spell to have right at the start. Yeah, Rouge will, Rouge will join anyone uh, as long as they're human. He won't join Blue though, and that's for storyline purposes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I sneak in a donation and a question for you Go from for the it. illustrious chat? Fox Reels sent in $20 and says, Love Saga Frontier. Thanks for running it, Reclesis. What's your favorite boss theme from this game? Ooh. Oh, and good luck with the run. Acellus' theme. Acellus' Acelis, last boss fight. So, there, for sure. Oh, yeah. There was so no good. hesitation there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia's is a very close second, though. Really? You're yeah. not a T260 fan? I love that song. That one's nice and chill. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the No Future song. Yeah. <laughs> All these other places we can go to from uh, from Kurang. We're gonna go to Aomi. Uh, revisit our good old friend, the Devil Squid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go back into the manor. Yep. I'm gonna pick up a safety item while we're in here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab the uh, there's a max cure near the entrance to the basement. And use that during the last fight just to make sure mm -hmm. um, Miss Artham stays alive. Yeah, there's something else in the stream we would have picked up as a safety for Amelia, which is the rubber suit. But we're playing a Celis instead today. If you have a moment, I have more love for this game to share. I do have a moment. <laughs> Uh, here's $20 for you from Fruity Snack Time, who says, these graphics slap. Sincerely loving this game. Nice. We got a level two yeah. combo here. Yeah. This, it's not necessary to get it, but it does make it a little faster. Uh -huh. Now we're, we're going to be absorbing these devil squids into uh, Silence and Eldon's Mystic Gloves in order to get, uh, I believe it's like plus 20 to uh, strength and quickness. Uh -huh. Yeah. But also, more importantly, to get Tiger Rampage, which is the attack that combo was on itself. Uh -huh. It's a ridiculously good attack. <laughs> and we're going to see an old friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this run would be impossible without her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we would not be able to do the final boss. Yeah. <laughs> so we just swap uh, stuff around so that we can get the absorb on the other mystic we have. Yeah, because here we have to have Ildon go first. If Silence goes first, it's a reset. Yep. Yeah, specifically to get the absorbs, the ability you use has to kill the monster. So we need to basically get the damage in from Tiger Rampage first and the Mystic Glove to hit after and absorb the ability. Yeah, unfortunately, Silence likes to not cooperate. <sighs> All right, there that's we go. Better. <laughs> yeah. So when you see the like, basically the enemy turn into a pancake, that's the uh, the, the absorb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and if, here if you hold up and left, you will get this dodge 100 percent of the time. <laughs> looks like you clip him, but uh -huh. you just get right by him. Yeah, it looks really scary. <laughs> uh. So we're going to proc another, uh, another story event, but this time uh -huh. it's not a boss fight. Instead, we get sent to the Dark Labyrinth. Uh-huh. Oh, this place. Is... This is Oilers going, all right, I'm sick of you. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's just the worst casually. It's just a door maze, and you just wander around. Yeah, there is an extra party member you can get here, though. Uh-huh. And uh, he's terrible. He's <laughs> <laughs> really bad. Yeah, Red Turnip is the actually the worst monster in the yeah. game. Uh-huh. <laughs> But uh, in order to get out of the labyrinth, someone has to stay behind, and White Rose, feeling that she disobeyed uh, her Lord Orluge, decides to stay behind. Mm -hmm. She also does it because she cares a lot about Celis, as you'll yeah. see in this text right here. 
Now, do, I do love how um, Zazma here actually calls humans out on strange for not actually saying, like, oh, they really care about someone. Yeah. Like, and so we just recruited Zazma there. Uh-huh. Zazma's another mystic. He's another mystic that we're going to beef up. Yeah, so generally in, like, the... Why was that oh, no. out so much? <laughs> I just want to uh, say hello. Yeah. <laughs> Try to knock its stats. <laughs> That's a good call. <laughs> like, I've never had that happen before. So. Yeah. <laughs> Usually that dinosaur is, like, way in there. Uh-huh. <laughs> so... Ooh. The quick save didn't go off. <laughs> Generally in Soccer Frontier speedruns, we have kind of a few different routes that the different scenarios could take for how to like beat yourself up quickly for a final boss. So this is the, basically the mystic route, which is we get these really, really strong stats and abilities from absorbs. Um, you can also do uh, mech, which are only dependent on the equipment they have. And there's a glitch in this game called the Junk Shop glitch, which you can basically get free, really good equipment to go Check put on your Check something real quick. He is enough for it. I'm going to get uh, a, a little bit more extra stats on Zazma. Okay, good idea. This isn't necessary, uh, but it makes the last fight a little bit more riskier. Mm -hmm. We're going to absorb the Devil Squid into his shoes. Alright, perfect. But yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be seeing mechs in this scenario. It's used in others, but uh, yeah. something to note. There's a lot of like different routes and different strategies for the different scenarios. So Soccer Frontier is just a great game, and I encourage everyone to like look up uh, Reclusis runs all the categories. So go check him out and all the <laughs> runs he's done. <laughs> even even the one where you run all the characters back to back, which is just. <laughs> <whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so before we continue, we're going to go take a quick rest at an inn. Which is right here. Go in the go in the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so uh, we're a little mad that uh, Orlu's essentially is the reason why White Rose is no longer with us. We're gonna go to Facenter and beat him up. Uh huh. <laughs> Give him a piece of our mind. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go back through the same area we came in. Uh, the dodges here, are, like one one's not too bad. The other one, I want to do a pause a pause buffer to get by. This is the not bad one. And then here I'm going to do a... I'm gonna try to get around this one, and then... Oh! oh, oh so I'll do that close. again. Yeah, this and is... Taking an encounter there is actually very bad because you'll end up fighting all three of them. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just trap you. There okay, we there we go. Yeah, it's really tough to get through there. I'm going to quick save there just so I don't have to do it again. <laughs> yeah, just in case that uh, little chameleon guy gets you. Yeah. It's like both the pill bug and the, and the, the dinosaur like yeah. to wander around. <laughs> and they can get directly in your path. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, so before we make our ascent to Orluge, we're going to uh, go into a side room that we could have gone into earlier that has a bunch of items, but we wouldn't have been able to keep those items. Yeah, and these are really strong items. Yeah, we're only going to pick up two of them, though. I'm going to pick up the power belt uh -huh. and the harmonium armor. That's going to protect Miss Artham against the specific attack that can happen during the final boss fight. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do some rough dodging now. So. Yeah, so let's hope this goes well. There's a lot of screens of this. Be quick saving on every single screen. <laughs> that was a little sketchy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You mirror. You mirror. Uh, I like a little pill bug bait. <laughs> that that right there is a side boss that we can do to uh, to save Gina. We're just we're not gonna do that. Yeah, we haven't really been talking to her. Oh, so. oh, 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 <laughs> Sir. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, that was fantastic. Zero encounters. <laughs> uh. Nope, not the file so. Can I interest you in a quick donation? Sure. I got $10 from you from Cassasaur, who says, 
donating towards Nike or Crawler in the X-Men Bid War in honor of my dad, who got me into video games and comic books as a kid. Love you, Pops. Nice. Great reminder that oh. there is a X-Men Arcade Player 2 character bid war going on. More chances to share opinions. <laughs> Just shout outs to how hard that menu was. That was really well executed. And we just one shot this boss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is a little sad because this is probably like the best boss theme that's not a final boss theme. I know, right? Yeah, this, yeah, this track is really good. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Batman. I'm very happy that happened because he. Uh, typically, you get through this fight, but if you don't get him uh, with the first attack, with the first level four combo, he typically gets to sell us down to one LP left. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> very scary. And then we have uh, another fight with Princess Lion directly after this. Mm -hmm. Yep, she's back. Yeah. She's got less health. And uh, oh, right there, uh, Celis just learned her Mystic Sword. Uh, mm -hmm. It'd be really cool for a, a casual playthrough to actually use that, but. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. But yeah. if, if you do use her mystic abilities, you're locked out of uh, the human ending. Yeah. She's yeah. got three different endings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the endings required fighting that optional boss we saw back uh, there. We didn't get a one-shot on her, so Ooh. this could go wrong. Yeah, I'm going to reset. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> As you see, we have like 150 health and things hit for 1,000 here, so <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be really fun. <laughs> She only requires a level three combination, but like obviously we didn't get any there. Uh -huh. And with Silence down, that wasn't going to happen. She can also use an ability called Kasumi, which is a counterattack. Okay, there we go. There we go. Second try is not bad on Princess Lion. <laughs> I just love they keep just jumping and start punching and uh -huh. one another when they're chained together. Yeah. I like calling that the Mystic Beatdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his little punch animation where he's like. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And now, with that, we're going to be going on to the final fight. Uh, we got to do a little bit of talking between now and that, that but mm -hmm. the final boss fight of nearly every Saga Frontier run is a huge RNG check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, the final boss fight is against Orlush. He's got three phases. Uh, each phase, like you need to do like 5,000 in the first phase to get to the phase two, 10,000 to get into phase three, and then 10,000 to kill him. Mm -hmm. um, damage does bleed over, so... You can do like eight thousand damage, and you only have to do uh, like like seven thousand to get to the next one. Uh huh. And we're looking to get like a kill directly after going into phase three, because as soon as we go into phase three, there's an attack that's going to one shot our entire party. Yeah. You know, if we once boss. we get into phase three, we have to kill him. There's no uh, no other option. But uh, Pippi, I have a question for you. What's that? Uh, Phase two has a uh, certain RNG that can happen. Uh, when you say le uh, left, left, or right, like left, right, or uh, center, uh, what do you think we're going to get for uh, phase two? Wait, uh, oh, almost. So, how many numbers are we looking for? Uh, like, uh, or how many directions? <laughs> uh, two. So, like left, 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 right, left, uh, center. So. Personally, my favorite number is thirteen, so I'm gonna I'm gonna vote for a left and then right. Go the two extremes. Ooh, okay. All right, that's not too bad. Split RNG. it in half. Yeah. <laughs> All right. right. Start a good RNG Fantastic. here. Fantastic. And so we're gonna we're gonna max cure on Masarthum just to keep her alive. Just uh -huh. as you'll see why in a second. Why she's so important. <laughs> Where's her life frame? <laughs> uh, like she's supposed to start on it normally. Uh -huh. <laughs> Because we ended up doing an attack with her, that's why it was yeah, off. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, so it's, this is the appendage she has equipped. She has a specific ability that's only given to her in the entire game called Life Rain, and this is an incredible ability, as you'll see here in a second. Yeah, this is what makes the fight like possible. Yeah. So we just basically full heal our entire party every turn, and then we might use cures on her to make sure that she stays alive. Well, I do that just just on turn one because I'm trying to buff everyone's speed with Zazma as well. Uh huh. And uh, Silence didn't get that speed, so we're just gonna have to continue without it. So high. All 
All right, we didn't get a combination here. Yeah. Um, this, each uh, mystic uh, mistress that comes out has a different speed value. And uh, this one is a little bit faster than some of the other uh, party members, and Zazma is down. That's not good. This is a rough start. Yeah, this uh, is not looking amazing. But we'll get past phase one at least. Uh-huh. Uh, phase two, let's see if let's see if Pippi's right on that RNG. Uh-huh. And even though we can keep like healing and healing, we're gonna run out of WP for Tiger Rampage soon. And so we need those combos or else we can't get to yeah. this fight. It's right. Okay. Let's see what else we get. Oh, <laughs> Pippi was right. Wow. <laughs> Left, right. I'm clairvoyant. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, oh, yeah, hide behind is just not comboing today. She missed, that's why. Oh, let's tell us. <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh. <laughs> this is not looking amazing. Yeah. This might be a reset. <laughs> so, I like, think. Uh, if that kills sil uh, silence, then. Ooh. Oh. Uh. Well, Miss Artham can just, you know, do yeah, her thing. Know. Not <laughs> She's got the harmonium armor, so that can't hit her. Floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, the the portraits in the back not only increase the, uh, the mistress's stats, but they make them do something else as well. The right one gives them uh, two to three attacks. Uh, middle one makes the attack AOE. Left one just is just buffs. This is really bad RNG. Yeah, that's really bad. Uh oh. It's still possible, but it's bad. Actually, Ildon's almost out of WP. That's uh -oh. different. <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Ooh. fine. Yeah, she already had used her attack. As long as she doesn't hit her again, because then she'll die. That's not fine. That's a reset. Oh, That's a reset. oh my goodness. Yeah, as soon as she's down, it's just really, really hard to recover. It would have been po impossible there, because uh, we had a damage dealer down. Uh-huh. And a Celis down. Celis is just not cooperating. Yeah, I know. She just keeps missing. <laughs> I don't even know why we bought those amulets. It's because it's GDQ. She heard what, what was up, and she was like, maybe maybe we're feeling quirky today. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where's the... There's my here. She might also be giving us a little extra time to hit that 900k by the end of the run. That is true. Run. That's true. We're less than $2,000 away, everyone. Woo! Woo! All right, everyone got the quickness there. That's good. And right. he blocks. Much better than last time. <laughs> I still don't know why that, that shield can block a spell, but I'll take it. Uh... I'm tempted just to try the YOLO strat if this continues to not work. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's uh, screw the buffs and just go in with Tiger Rampage. Yeah, just start attacking and see what happens. <laughs> nope. All right, let's see some combos. All right. Level three is good. That's better. <laughs> can I sneak in a quick donation for you while we're getting can. back? I've got $20 from CRS Defiance, who says, Saga Frontier was always a favorite of mine growing up, and I enjoyed Acellus' scenario the most. <laughs> Reclesis is doing an amazing job at speeding through what was a very difficult run for a casual. My daughter watches all these early morning runs with me and insisted that I donate for her. Aww. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> oh, uh, bad RNG, <laughs> The, the right mistress is always the worst one. Doesn't matter uh, what portrait she gets. If she gets the middle one, it's an auto reset. Yeah, that just like AOE wipes your party. Yeah, and that's something Miss Arthur can't block. She can block the, uh, the middle mistress and the left mistress, but she cannot block the right one. Uh-huh. And we need her to live through this in order to get through to the next phase. So hopefully she doesn't get attacked. And she got attacked. Oh. Yeah. If if we're in phase three, we might be able to, yeah, to squeak we, out a victory. We can still attack and hope for the combo. Yeah. All three missions will come out if we're in three. Because we can get a level three, and if that doesn't kill it, Zosmo will live through three missions. And he can just finish the fight. Okay, level three, okay. let's see. Let's see. 
possible. <laughs> Celis is finally doing work. Yeah. <laughs> finally. <laughs> <laughs> He's not down. Okay. So Zazba's has got to pull it out. Oh, this attack is just strong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's the only one who lives through it no matter what. Yeah, thankfully he actually has an HP pool. And he should go before all of them because of the... Ooh. Oh, oh block! block. <laughs> Come on, can you get there? No! no. Oh. Oh. Sazma, you let me down. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try one more attempt with the safety, like safety strategies. Uh -huh. um, might just go full YOLO after that, <laughs> just to just to see. I really like when you reset after the game, just like gives you a calming, nice, relaxing break on the title screen. <laughs> with a nice little water, waterfall. <laughs> Calm down, <everything's> fine. <laughs> <laughs> can I interest you in some more support from the lovely Twitch chat? You can. I've got twenty five dollars for you from Loud Heart. Who we're gonna, says we're gonna race it after oh. that? <laughs> <laughs> they say long time watcher, first time donator here, and I gotta say, it feels surreal to finally be able to donate now that I'm out of college and have job. <laughs> considering that I was in high school when I first started watching GDQ VODs on YouTube. Thanks for all you guys do. Congrats, thank you, job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it caught me off guard again that Miss Arthur's just not on life reign right now. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. It's really hard to ditch the muscle memory. All right, that's a good attack. Mm -hmm. Has everyone got the quickness? We only did about 1.9 thousand damage there, so we're definitely still in phase one. Yeah, this is the unfortunate reality of Saga Frontier speedrunning. The last boss can just say no. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if we were doing Amelia, we would have, had a, would have seen uh, D.Va, which is a very tough final boss, too. Yeah. Level 3 combo here is not bad. Uh-huh. So. Looking good. Ooh, that's Ooh. a... Oh, he's still... He survived. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Zazma. <laughs> the extra stats from the, from the boots. Uh-huh. No, yeah, that was definitely <laughs> worth getting. <laughs> And we don't have to worry about that mistress for phase two now. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Okay. All right. This one's always good. Please okay. give me left as well. Thank you, game. Perfect. <laughs> All right. We're looking really good. That, that mistress is the slowest mistress of the, of the three. Mm -hmm. So we can get that. All right. We're looking real pretty now for uh, phase yes. three. This is going to do a lot. <laughs> Because again, damage bleeds over in between phases, so he's uh -huh. gonna have about five, maybe a little, little like 4.5 to 5k health left. Uh -huh. we, all we need is that level three combo at the end. And that actually saved us a little bit of time by not having life <laughs> ring go off. <laughs> all right. Oiler's doing us a solid after, you know, smacking us around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Had to be nice eventually. All right. <laughs> We get to enjoy this beautiful final boss music, though, a little bit longer. Uh -huh. This song is so good. Uh. Mm. We just, this should still do it. Uh huh. If not, then Zosmo will probably get it done. Got him. All right. <laughs> Thinking we might actually either be just below or hit a smith exactly after all of those mistakes. Uh, -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh we made it. <laughs> Ooh. And so, as I said before, there are three different endings for uh, for Acellus. The speedrun will always get the half mystic ending, which, in my opinion, is the best ending because <laughs> uh, that's like the everyone lived happily ever after ending. <laughs> Alrighty. He fades away. We can get a donation in too at this point. Wonderful. Here's $50 for you from I Provide the Paint, who says, Casual Friday means I can just.
casually watch GDQ while I work, right? I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's what that means. Don't tell my boss. I don't know what you're talking about. Your, your secret <laughs> is safe with us and uh, uh -huh. the many people watching. <laughs> All of us are really good at keeping secrets. We, we've got you on this. <laughs> She was actually telling the story of Acellus to her grandchildren. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hanging out in the garden. So even though we didn't actually save Gina, she does live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was fine all along. Yeah. And then all, all the uh, the mystics that we recruit, well, some of the mystics that we recruited would go and say hi uh -huh. to her. We even got White Rose back. Yeah. In the full mystic ending, she stays in the labyrinth, which is a little sad. Yeah. That, that's like the bad ending, in my opinion. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just going to get through this cutscene, and um, time will be coming up very shortly. Uh, once again, the game's going to ask about system data. We're going to tell it in all caps, I got none. <laughs> and when I select that, it'll be uh, time. Oh, and I love these, like, weird 3D models. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so weird. All right, get ready. Oh. <laughs> and time. And that was Saga Frontier. This game is a huge RNG mess, but I love it. I love every second of playing this game. So uh, thank you again to GDQ for having me. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Sky Sage, who is the runner who taught me everything that I know about this game and kind of kept me going. Uh, shout out to the Saga speedrunning community in general. And again, shout out to Midboss and... Uh, I guess Angie, I <laughs> <laughs> turned you. the wrong way <laughs> uh, for Apple with commentary. Yeah, thank you for doing that on. It was fantastic. We loved watching it. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Reclisa, so much for that incredible run and. Considering how rude all the characters were, very impressive time, I must say. I do have ever more donations for you as we get so, so close to that 900K. Here's $50 from Kina Jin, who says, heard something about a Tears of the Kingdom tax? Kind of surprised anyone is collecting taxes given the state of Hyrule, but okay. Thank you for paying your taxes like a responsible adult. I really appreciate it. And on that lovely and bureaucratic note, my shift for the day has come to a close. Thank you everyone so much for having me. Thank you GDQ so much for letting me do this and letting me make fun noises into your microphones. That'll be the end of me for the week. However, I will continue to exist in the rest of the world, which is very nice because it means I can watch more GDQ and watch all of the lovely donations that y'all are sure to send in afterwards. I leave you in the very capable hands of Squidilla. And uh, on that note, I have been Pippi in a top hat and we are gonna take a quick break.
All right, well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Summer Games Dunquick 2023. My name is Squid Dilla. Most people call me Squid, but if there's one thing I learned this week, it's that I'm actually a chef now. And Twitch chat, did you know that you all are chefs too? And live audience, did you guys know that you are all chefs as well? So from one chef to another, I'd just like to say, yes, chef, reporting for duty, chef, ready to read your donations, chef. Now we've got a lot of cool games coming up. Uh, I'll be with you for the next five, so it'll be super exciting. Uh, coming up next, we've got Final Fight 3 with Jake Rock and Space Coast Gaming. I would like to give a little bit of warning though. We do have a uh, flashing light warning that's gonna be going on uh, during the boss fights. So if you're sensitive to that, I'd just like to make sure that you're well aware of that. And folks, I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but we are currently at $898,000. We are so close to $900,000. And you know what I'm hearing in the distance? I think I'm hearing a train. I think uh, we could maybe get a $5 donation train going in all aboard. Let's hit that 900K, shall we? Really do appreciate the donations. We've got some coming in right now. I've got a $50 anonymous donation that says, thanks to everyone who helps put everything together. No, thank you. Uh, shout outs to the runners, shout outs to the volunteers, shout outs to the staff, and most importantly, shout outs to the mods in chat. Can we get some hearts in chat right now? Thank you, everyone. This is not a one-person show. Everyone comes here together every year to make this happen. This is so special. This is so magical. And of course, we are raising money for Doctors Without Borders. It's a fun time. Leanna S. Uh, donates $50, and they say, loving this run so far this week, less than three. Got a $25 donation from Jerome that says, Go GDQ. I've got a $25 donation from Geldian that says, all the bonus games for more SGDQ less than three. Yes, we, we are... Our goal, our bonus game uh, for today is going to be, let me pull it up really quick here, it's going to be Clone Hero, and our goal is to hit $1 million. I believe in us, Twitch chat, let's get it. As a reminder, everyone, we are here supporting Doctors Without Borders. Who is Doctors Without Borders, you ask? Well, Doctors Without Borders, or MSF, is an independent international organization that offers medical humanitarian assistance to people based solely on need, irrespective of race, religion, gender, or political affiliation. Over the past five decades, MSF has grown from a group of a few hundred volunteers to an international movement providing over 10 million medical consultations in more than 70 countries every year. MSF's core values of humanitarianism, independence, neutrality, and impartiality continue to drive their work in providing life-saving aid to people whose survival is threatened by violence, neglect, or catastrophe, primarily due to armed conflict, epidemics, malnutrition, exclusion from healthcare, 
or natural disasters. And with your donations, you can save a life. You can make a difference. So keep those donations coming in. We are less than $1,000 away from 900K. Keep them coming. Let's go. Friendly reminder that when you go to donate, uh, when you go to the Games Done Quick website to put in your donation, after you put your dollar amount at the bottom, there are going to be a whole bunch of incentives that you can attach your uh, that you can allocate your money towards. So we'd really appreciate if you can go ahead and do that. We've got a couple of bid wars going on right now. We've got uh, we've got the X Men Arcade Player Two character bid war, and it is very close. Nightcrawler is currently in the lead with. $2,700, followed by Colossus. And I know some folks are going to get excited to see those Colossus roars. So if you'd like to see Colossus, get, uh, get up there on the stage. Make those donations. All right, I've got a $100 donation from Ketty Cat that simply says less than three. And with that, I believe we are ready for the next run. So let's get ready for Final Fight 3 with Jake Rock and Space Coast Gaming. <laughs> 